Hi guys. <laughs> I'm amusing myself over here. Um, okay, I have a confession to make. Actually, numerous confessions. <laughs> the first confession that I want to make is, I got to admit, it's a little... I'm not impressed when people say that they're working all the time. <laughs> and busy, 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 bragging on their grind. It's great to be on your grind, but I'm not impressed when people say, like, that's all they do. Number one reason why, first ahead, first of all, is um, especially when someone's successful and they're saying they're on their grind all the time. Well, from my point of view, I feel like if you're successful, you should also be enjoying time with your family, right? Granted, when you succeed at a lot of things, it takes a lot of time you gotta put in. But I just feel like people need to brag about being with their families and enjoying life more. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. But my other confession is this. Um, hopefully that made sense. My other confession is this. I have, <laughs> and I'm not bragging, I swear. <laughs> with that being said, I've been, <laughs> with that being said, I have, been driving myself crazy on my computer um, and hardly left my house this week. And uh, <laughs> I hate it. I'm not gonna brag that I've been on my grind because I hate it. I hate sitting down. <laughs> I hate sitting down and being on a computer for that long. But yesterday I was on my computer for like 14 hours and I, I thought I was gonna go insane. Um, so the reason why I'm telling you this is um, because I'm always saying to people, be positive, get out there, like exercise, you gotta move around, which yes, we do. And maybe there's a reason why I had to be sitting on my couch on my computer all week because how it's made me feel has actually made me a little worried for all of my friends out there that, um, sit for long periods of time every single day because it not only does it mess with your body your back your joints if you're not stretching out there are so many things that are all linked together and then on top of it the real kicker was how grouchy I was last night from sitting all day it affects your mood too and that's one of the main reasons why I love working out because I actually feel happy, the endorphins that are released and all that. Um, so we got to figure something out for you guys. If any of you guys sit for long periods of time, could we please figure something out uh, to get moving throughout the day? Because I'm kind of worried. Uh, since this is all about confessions, I don't know why I just feel like I need to confess to you guys today. Um, I had a list. Um, <laughs> Yikes, look at all these things coming in. Okay, um, what's my next confession? Um, my next confession is um, don't feel used, but I'm trying to get used to uh, being live with you guys because I have these great things I'm working on to start up in January um, to bring to you right here that involves me doing live shows and uh, just giving you much better content. Actually, content that I'm excited about just doing myself. So um, forgive me if I'm just blabbing, but I'm really just trying to learn as I go. And also not, oh, I'm a truck driver and I'm always sitting. Okay, to the guy that's a truck, to the guy that's a truck driver and always sitting. Um, please, you have to make sure that you're stretching out your um, hip flexors. I don't know if you know that. I'm gonna to try to do this holding my camera. <laughs> Just so you can see what I'm talking about. So you gotta like stretch like that, <laughs> like a runner stretch. It's so important for you to um, stretch your hip flexors because when you sit a lot, they get, they obviously, you're sitting and so they, they go like this and um, also, for those of us that have been lucky enough to uh, begin getting a flatter butt as we get older, 
sorry guys, sorry. Um, when you sit a lot, like it's affected from that. So your hip flexors, you gotta stretch them out because that also can contribute to flat butt syndrome. Bet you didn't know that, huh? Um, I'm gonna, just gonna read a couple. Evidently from my lessons that I've been <laughs> taught recently, I'm not supposed to be reading these things as I'm doing a live um, live thing because it's not very interesting. <laughs> so I'm just being a rule breaker right now. <laughs> um, okay. See, this is why you don't do this because I had all these things I was going to confess to you guys and now I'm like, I can't even, I don't forget what I was focusing on. Um, oh gosh, you guys, I'm, I'm seriously brain dead right now. Um, I can tell you what I've been working on, but that's really legit what's all in my brain right now. So, um, I apologize. <laughs> this is what my Friday night is going to look like. Um, so if you have any kind of a life. Hopefully, I will make you feel better about your life right now because I'm going to be sitting here on my computer. Actually, I'm excited because I'm really excited about all the things that I'm working on to bring to you this year, January. But um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm <laughs> I just love that I'm uh, amusing myself here. Okay. What is a fast way to lose weight? Yes, first of all, yes, I do need a break. I need a vacation. Okay, a fast way to lose weight. This, this probably sounds annoying because I know I was annoyed by this answer every time I heard it back in the day, but um, any real fast way to lose weight is a recipe for gaining even more weight. Don't try to lose weight fast. Just you can actually lose weight fast the proper way if you're like working out an hour and 15 minutes a day, no longer, and eating every three hours, small meals. Think of your body as a furnace that you gotta keep, you know, feeding to keep the fire burning. You, I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but I'm just reiterating that. Um, and if you lose 10 pounds in a week, um, more than likely, like, Eight of those pounds are probably water. So if you gain that eight pounds of water back after one week, don't worry, it's not fat, it's water. Um, okay. How do I catch up on these? <laughs> okay. I love you guys. First of all, I just have to tell you guys, I love you. You guys are so positive and loving and I, I mean, oh, okay, so part of my confession, I just remembered, part of my confession when I was telling you, like, I'm not bragging when I say I'm sitting here on my computer literally all day long, um, part of that confession is, uh, the very thing that I preach, I hate the word preach, but preach about getting up and being active and beast mode and all that, um, because I've been so obsessed working and focused, um, that actually, I'm sad to say, has kind of gone out the window for me this week. And uh, I feel like shit. My back is killing me. I'm going to go for a Friday night workout. That's going to be my big date night at the gym. But... Um, that's, I guess part of my confession is that, um, I just, I just looked in the mirror at my legs and, um, they're like really skinny. I'm like kind of embarrassed because when I get stressed and focused, I tend to, uh, forget about eating and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. So I'm a little embarrassed. And my point in telling you this is, we all, nobody is perfect. Even 
someone that is touting a healthy lifestyle and how important exercise and, and healthy diet is, even I go through periods where I, that just goes out the window because of, for some reason. So don't ever feel like um, you can never get it together. And don't ever feel like if, if you mess up and you go on a three month binge <laughs> that you can't get back on track. Don't go on a three month binge, but um, my I'm just sharing with you openly that this week long uh, whatever I did to myself with the stress and um, working and not working out and forgetting to eat it ha is uh, <laughs> quite noticeable but I'm not going to stress about it because there's no reason to stress about anything oh see yes yeah, somebody Santos when I lie in bed for more than eight or nine hours the middle of my back hurts it's strange totally that's how I feel when I sit if I now like it's crazy because I used to travel like 300 days a year for work and uh, now if I have to fly across the country I get such bad anxiety from the thought of having to sit um, that I have to take anti-anxiety medicine to, to actually sit it's crazy because my back hurts so I, I hear you like first of all there's no reason why we should have to lay in bed hopefully for eight or nine hours um, God forbid um, but yeah I get it like when we're sick or with the flu and we're in bed for like all day oh it hurts your back so bad I know I get it I feel you hi Texas Ernest the rules are definitely made <laughs> Michael yes I am a re I am a real rebel Real rebel. That's totally what I am. <laughs> um, more confessions. Oh, God. You guys, we don't have enough time for all my confessions, first of all. But if I gave them all to you, you would feel much better about your life. <laughs> slowly. Slowly, I will. Slowly, I will give you lots of confessions. And, um... My best friend, Juhi, just joined us, and um, I'm sure she would be more than happy to confess for me, but luckily she's silent right now. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just reading through a little more. Um, yes, David, you're right. <laughs> Can you guys come on some of this. This is, you know what, guys? No, don't drink Slim Fast. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you, this is why it's so important for me to be doing these lives right now with you guys and kind of learning the ropes because I understand it's not entertaining when I'm sitting here going like this. Um, which is why having like an outline of things um, really helps. Okay. You guys, I love you guys. Okay. All right. I'm trying not to read all these, but it's too hard. I wish there was a way to like not look at them while I'm trying to talk to you. Okay, so my point was today for you guys to my confession about being stressed and working and not working out and how, how I feel like shit because of that. And when you don't eat for stress, um, that's just as bad as overeating for stress. We're on the same page here. Like... I, there's no excuse um, and because I had to confess to you guys I'm gonna go I'm, we're gonna hang up and I'm gonna go eat and my Friday night date is uh, gonna be at the gym 
with no guy because um, I'm trying my best to stay away from men right now. I just really don't trust my taste in men. So I'm staying single. <laughs> it's a smart thing to do. Um, all right, you guys. Uh, you know what? If I think of anything really great that I want to confess to you guys a little bit later, you just, for those of you that have no life like me and are going to be at home, make sure to check your Facebook because I'll just come back on live and confess a little bit more, okay? And before I hang up, Chloe, Chloe and Pepper, Chloe and Pepper say, what up? Rough, rough. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya.